I've been looking into probably taking in more people who can actually help me with some of the edits I used to have and I really need to get another video editing desktop. I'm on kind of a budget and um, I won't say the particular amount I have right now until I get to the market but I will try as much as possible to get something that's powerful enough to at least edit and forget it. So let's go on this journey together. to um, Allen Junction and uh, we, we met a little bit of traffic though it's moving. Um, this is Lagos, you can actually um, predict what you will meet and that's the situation of traffic in Lagos. But regardless, we are not turning back, we are heading to um, Comptable where we actually want to get uh, uh, what we'll be getting today. So. So we are parked at uh, Jara Mall. Uh, this is where a lot of um, people come to shop uh, inside comfortably used to park because there's no place to park inside the market. Everywhere is jam packed. Uh, so checking down inside the market to get what we'll be getting. So let's go. Going to the market, I just decided to put on a casual dress because there's something common with traders that they tend to evaluate you by looking at the way you dress. So the way you dress is just the way they are going to probably give you price. So I just decided to wear something simple just to avoid that. So I had my friend who was taking me around Comptable because him is familiar with Comptable. He took me to the first shop. I listed all the components I will be needing. So the estimate he gave us was around six hundred and sixty thousand Nigerian naira, which is about five hundred and seven US dollars. It's a little bit above our budget, so we decided we are going to check out another vendor. So we headed to the next vendor where we got this particular PC in which we got and he is a very friendly guy and he actually gave us what we needed and which was within our budget i was very very happy so i had to discuss with my friend are you okay with the price he said okay yeah we can go for this then there's something common with when you are buying um used um, item you really need to check it out so that was what i was actually trying to do here i was checking out if the component was okay when i'm satisfied with the component and everything we got then we left the market So guys, I'll be showing you this particular desktop in which we bought and also all the components we bought to uh, upgrade uh, this particular unit. So we bought the Dell XPS 8920 which comes with the processor of Core i7 7th generation. This processor is powerful enough for everyday tasks like multimedia, light gaming and video editing. This particular computer also supports up to 64 gb of DDR4 RAM which makes it smooth for multitasking and um, responsive performance depending on the configuration in which you have inside this um, computer. This particular desktop computer also supports varieties of graphics cards like the Intel HD graphics card, the dedicated NVIDIA GeForce graphics card and also the AMD Radeon graphics card. So in order to get the best performance for the tasks in which you want to use this um, computer for which is 4K video editing, we had to upgrade most of the components inside this computer. We bought three different RAM sticks in which two were 8GB DDR4 RAM and one was 16GB DDR4 RAM, making it 32 gig of RAM and which I think is powerful enough for what you want to use it for which is video editing. We also bought 256 gig SSD. This is where we'll be loading our operating system. We also got an internal backup of um, 2TB HDD. This is where we'll be backing up our files because the 256 gig SSD we bought is quite low and might not be able to contain much files since we are using it for video editing. So the particular graphics card we bought inside this component was the NVIDIA GTX 1060 which is 6GB video RAM. The NVIDIA GTX 1060 6GB has the clock speed of around 1506MHz and a boost clock speed of around 1708MHz which makes this particular graphics card powerful for everyday multimedia, light gaming and video editing. So after coupling all these units together inside this desktop, I've actually used this um, desktop to edit uh, a live recording in which 
It was recorded using um, 8 different cameras in which everything was shot in 4K and as you can see I'm editing right now and on my playback I have it set to full resolution without attaching any plugs and as you can see the playback is very very smooth. Overall I can say I'm satisfied with uh, looking at the amount in which you got this desktop and the performance I would say this is actually a very very good desktop for you to actually use to start editing your videos especially if you work with 4K videos and you're on a tight budget you don't really need to spend much on uh, buying um, an expensive um, graphics card or an expensive um, motherboard that's why i actually like to do videos like this for people who are just getting started into video editing with the kind of budget in which they have in which they can actually use it to build at least a powerful computer in which they can use for their everyday um, video editing or multimedia so overall all we spent on the component was around 510,000 naira which is about 425 us dollars when it comes to rendering i've actually used this particular desktop to render the live recording in which i edited on this uh, particular desktop the total length of the video was around 20 minutes and your uh, render time was around uh, 29 minutes and i would say basically because i'm actually using the desktop to actually do a screen capture and i think probably the ram has been shared if i were not using this particular desktop for screen capture i feel or i think probably the render time would have been a little bit uh, lesser so i would say this is just like a budget uh, desktop in which you can use to edit um, 4k videos and not really too much of intense and uh, 3d um, animation or intensive uh, gaming in the future i hope to build a more powerful desktop in which i'll be able to use for intensive gaming and probably theory animation and you know being a nigerian we all trade with the us dollars we earn in naira and we buy in us dollars to be quite challenging to splash thousands of naira in fact to splash millions of naira on some of this component that makes a good performance at a computer thank you for staying tuned till the end of this video do not forget to smash the like button smash the subscribe button and let's grow this community together peace